Mark Benioff, the founder of Salesforce and a respected technology leader, surprised everyone by sharing a video of Tesla Optimus visiting his office. What looked like a simple showcase of innovation quickly turned into controversy. In the clip, the robot appeared stiff, slow to react, and almost lifeless compared to the bold promises Tesla has made in the past. A social media poll revealed that 73% of viewers said they were disappointed. On top of that, the video hinted at a shocking US$200,000 price tag, far higher than Elon Musk's earlier estimate of between US$20,000 and US$25,000. Naturally, this raised questions about Tesla's true direction with Optimus. But maybe we rushed to judge too quickly. Was this really a technical failure, or could those awkward movements be part of something more deliberate? Several reports suggest that the Optimus robot shown in Benioff's video was not a fully complete Generation 3 model, and not even the rumored Generation 3.5. Instead, it may have been a special prototype designed specifically for office environments. Tesla might have limited its speed, range of movement, and even its responses on purpose to test stability in a controlled workplace setting where safety and reliability are far more important than agility or smoothness. If that is the case, the slow and robotic image that Benioff shared may actually carry a hidden meaning. Before we go further, welcome to Amp Drive. We share everything about Tesla, Optimus, electric cars, robotics, and the future of technology. We are thankful for already crossing 1,000 subscribers, and with your support, we can reach even more milestones together. So hit that subscribe button now and be part of Amp Drive as we continue uncovering Tesla's next big breakthroughs. So what is Tesla really testing with Optimus? One possibility is that Tesla is carefully studying how Optimus handles artificial intelligence in real-world office settings. They may be prioritizing safe, careful answers over fast responses, or they could be hiding major upgrades until the official Generation 3 reveal. Another question is why Benioff, a major tech leader outside Tesla, was the one to share it. Experts believe this may be intentional. Tesla may want to show that Optimus is capable of adapting to calm, office-friendly environments where tasks like bringing coffee, moving papers, or handling simple human interaction matter more than doing stunts or flashy movements. According to insiders, the robot in that video was not a complete Generation 3 unit. Instead, it was a prototype tuned for office testing, and it was actually being evaluated inside Benioff's workplace. Tesla is believed to have purposely restricted the walking speed, responses, and complex actions so that the team could study stability, safety, and simple interaction in a corporate environment. Tesla has often proven in the past that when it chooses to showcase something, it can be breathtaking. We have already seen Optimus catch objects midair, carry out precise remote-controlled tasks, and even perform human-like actions such as squatting or reaching out with near-perfect accuracy. But in an office, the expectations are different. There, what matters most is reliability, predictability, and safety above everything else. Tesla may also be using this setting to test Optimus' ability to integrate with language-based artificial intelligence. The delayed responses noticed in the video may not be hardware-related at all. Instead, they might come from natural language algorithms designed to operate cautiously. In this environment, Optimus is not supposed to reply instantly and risk being wrong. Instead, it is meant to answer carefully and appropriately, just as a professional coworker would. For example, when asked if there was a Coke in the kitchen, Optimus did not try to respond quickly. Instead, it calmly admitted it did not have updated information and would need to check. That kind of careful and honest reply is actually the safest and most professional approach. It is deliberate, calm, and trustworthy, and in many ways, something human workers could also learn from. Mechanically, Optimus is already making great progress. The Generation 3 hand now has 22 degrees of freedom, which gets very close to the complexity of a real human hand. The actuators, artificial tendons, and transmission systems are all built neatly inside the forearm, which allows for remarkable precision. This means Optimus can perform tasks as delicate as typing on a keyboard, handing over documents, or even more sensitive actions in the future. So while many people saw slowness in Benny Off's clip, 
what is really happening behind the scenes may be far more impressive. Tesla is making Optimus safe, steady, and useful, the three pillars required for mass adoption. In recent days, photos of a golden Optimus spotted in an office have been spreading online. This version looks different from anything we have seen before. Painted in shiny gold, it matches the same color scheme Tesla showed on the Cyber Cab unveiled in October. Until now, there had only been one other golden Optimus sighting, when Kim Kardashian received one of the very first units last November. She shared many images and videos of the robot waving, posing for pictures, and even mimicking dances. The fact that another golden Optimus has now been spotted is creating speculation that this could be the special design Elon Musk hinted at during Tesla's second quarter earnings call in 2025. Musk mentioned that the new Optimus design being finalized later this year will be something truly special. While we cannot confirm whether this golden version is Generation 3, it clearly stands out from the standard white Generation 2. The golden color makes it look heavier and more premium, almost like a metal finish. Some believe this is simply a limited edition of Generation 2, because Generation 3 is expected to have much more dramatic design changes for production efficiency. Elon Musk has admitted that the hardest challenge so far has been redesigning Optimus so it is easier to manufacture within Tesla's supply chain, while still keeping costs in control. That is why the upcoming Generation 3 will be engineered for balance between design, cost, and manufacturing scalability. Today, Optimus is already able to take on simple workplace jobs like carrying documents, delivering drinks, checking equipment, and moving supplies within warehouses. None of these tasks require speed. They require reliability, precision, and consistency. And in a commercial household version, Optimus could become a real assistant. It could help with light cooking, cleaning, and supporting the elderly or disabled. In fact, a cautious robot moving at a slower pace is much more suitable for healthcare. Delivering medicine, carrying patient records, and assisting staff without ever putting anyone in danger. Here, safety and consistency are far more valuable than quickness. The reaction to Optimus' slow movements in Benioff's video might actually work in Tesla's favor. The robot did not look threatening. It did not appear to compete with human workers. Instead, it looked like a careful trainee that many people could feel comfortable with. This softer image could help the public accept Optimus as a helpful teammate, not as a rival. The current Optimus Generation 2 already has one of the most appealing humanoid designs on the market. Tesla's goal has always been to build a robot that mirrors the human form as closely as possible, even though it is far more difficult than making a less human-like machine. The Generation 2 robot is about 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighs around 138 pounds. Its hands have five fingers. Its neck has two degrees of freedom. Its feet allow it to balance and walk like a human. At present, its walking speed is about 1.34 miles per hour, not far behind the human average of 2 to 3 miles per hour. Improvements in speed are already underway. Looking forward, Generation 3 will almost certainly see material changes. Just as the shift from Generation 1 to Generation 2 was huge, the new update is expected to be dramatic. Generation 1 looked clunky with exposed metal and wires, while Generation 2 was 80% complete with smooth enclosed surfaces that gave it a polished look. Generation 3 may go even further with lightweight advanced materials like carbon fiber or polycarbonate. This would make it both lighter and stronger, while also scratch-resistant. The wiring will likely be streamlined to remove unnecessary bulk, and we expect Tesla to refine every part, even the display. Generation 3 is rumored to include a front OLED display, which no other humanoid robot currently has. Mobility is another big focus. At first, Optimus was slow and not agile. Generation 2 could only move at 0.6 meters per second. Tesla engineers now say Generation 3 could reach around 3 kilometers per hour, much closer to natural human walking. The latest updates already show Optimus exploring spaces and climbing stairs. While stair climbing is not a breakthrough since other robots can do it, what is impressive is how fast Tesla closed the gap compared to older players like Boston Dynamics. 
All of this requires improvements in batteries, motors, wiring, and sensors. Generation 1 had a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery. Generation 3 will probably use Tesla's advanced 4680 cells, possibly around 2.5 kilowatt hours, giving up to 9 hours of use before recharge. Even more impressive, Optimus can now recharge itself without help. Using a wall-mounted charger with a connector, Optimus finds the station, plugs itself in, and resumes work when charged. The charging port is placed on its back, and the rear camera guides it into the station. This automatic process is a major step toward independence. So why was the video shown at Benioff's office instead of at a Tesla event? It may be because Tesla is testing the enterprise market first. Just like companies pay for software subscriptions, they may soon subscribe to Optimus as a service. Robots could be hired monthly to perform repetitive tasks. This would reduce costs for companies and give Tesla a steady income stream. By introducing Optimus in this way, Tesla is not just showing a robot, but shaping a future where artificial intelligence is not only software on our phones, but also a physical assistant standing next to us. The choice of Benny Off, a leader who always speaks about AI serving humanity, may have been intentional. Tesla may be signaling that Optimus is ready to join offices before homes. What do you think? If Tesla offers the Generation 3 Optimus at $20,000, would you want one? Share your thoughts in the comments. Do not forget to subscribe to Amp Drive for the latest updates on Tesla, Optimus, and all the exciting technology coming soon. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.